After the Passion and Resurrection of our Savior and His Ascension to Heaven, the Virgin Mary was entrusted to the Apostle St. John. From her, the Apostles received the impulse to go out to announce the Gospel throughout the world. The tradition, as it has arisen from some documents of the 9th century that are conserved in the Cathedral of Zaragoza, Spain, goes back to the immediate subsequent time of the Ascension of Jesus Christ when the Apostles, fortified with the Holy Spirit, went out to preach the Gospel. It is said, at that time, around 40 AD, the Apostle James the Greater, brother of John and son of Zebedee, preached in Spain. Those lands had not received the Gospel, so they were tied to paganism. St. James, moved by the Holy Spirit, went to the provinces of Spain. Before leaving, he kissed the hands of the Holy Virgin Mary and asked for her blessing, and went forth with the blessing of the Holy Virgin for his mission. She dismissed him with these words, Go, son, fulfill the mandate of the Master, and by him I pray that in the city of Spain in which a greater number of men you will convert to the faith to build a church in my memory, as I will show you. Leaving Jerusalem, St. James arrived in Spain and passing through Asturias, came to the city of Oviedo, where he could only baptize one man. Then, entering through Galicia, he preached in the city of Padron. From there, returning through Castile, he went to Aragon, where Zaragoza is located, on the banks of the Ebro. In this city, after preaching many days, he baptized eight men with whom he conversed during the day of the kingdom of God. At night, alone and disheartened, he walked along the river bank to rest and pray in silence. During the prayer, one of those nights, He heard voices of angels singing, Ave Maria, gratia plena. When he heard them, he fell on his knees and saw on the marble pillar the Virgin, who said, Behold, James, the place where you build a temple in my memory. Look carefully at this pillar in which I am, which my son and master for you brought down from above by the hand of the angels around which you will make the altar of the chapel in this place. The virtue of the Most High will work portents and wonders by my intercession for those who, in their needs, implore my patronage. This pillar will remain in this place until the end of the world, and true Christians will never be lacking in this city. Comforted by this presence of Mary, he built a temple. It is the first church in the world dedicated to the Virgin Mary. It is an extraordinary coming of the Virgin Mary during her mortal life. Unlike the other apparitions, the Virgin Mary comes when she still is alive in Palestine. With no nation did she do such a thing. Rightly, will the liturgy of January 2nd sing Feast of the Coming of the Virgin. The column, or pillar, that the same lady brought, so that on him the first chapel was built, which in fact would be the first Marian temple of all Christendom. The pillar, or or column, the idea of the solidity of the building church with that of the firmness of the column confidence in the protection of Mary. The linking of the pillar is a tradition with the Jacobean tradition of the sanctuary of Santiago de Compostela. For this reason, Zaragoza and Compostela, El Pilar and Santiago have constituted two fundamental axes around which the spirituality of the Spanish homeland has revolved for centuries. 
This is the story of the first apparition of Our Lady in the history of Christendom. The feast day of Our Lady of the Pillar is celebrated on October 12. If you like this video and you would like to see more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Our Lady of the Pillar, pray for us.